It was extremely important, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we, we feed off each other. Offense is doing good, you know. We're doing bad, they feed off us, and then whenever the offense is doing bad, we do good. You know, it's kind of like a back and forth thing. You know, we like I said, we play as a team. Uh, you know, defense plays as a unit, and it just trickles down to uh, you know stuff like that. So it was it was a pretty big win. Kind of struggled to get to the to the quarterback since the the, the TCU game, and, mm -hmm. and you guys get four sacks today. How nice was that? Uh, it was real nice. You know what I mean? It's always a confidence boost whenever you, you get back to the quarterback. You know, you know, get out that funk. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know. Like I said, it's stats on everything. Wins are, wins are the most important, and uh, you know that's all we look for. You guys have made some pretty big plays throughout the game, but it seemed like a, a flip switch when Spencer came in and, and made that drive. How big was that for you guys? Yeah, it was, it was pretty big. You know, we need some juice, but you know, we're, we're confident in Gary and uh, uh, Gunner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's just a, it's just a little juice. You know what I mean? The juice that we needed, and uh, you know, he, he applied it. So you said uh, during practice this week that you felt like the defense was just a couple clicks away from being one of the best of the nation. And yeah, it's kind of looked like that tonight. Yeah, you know, how we play today is how we should have been playing the whole year. Uh, you know, it, it takes a little bit of a, a wake-up call, you know what I mean? And I feel like we needed that because we, we, you know, as a, as a unit, we felt like we were, you know, acting entitled and acting like, you know, things should just come towards us. But we went, we went out and took it. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to take so. What's it feel like, I guess, on that final play when you get a sack, you know, you won the game and it's over, what's going through your head? Yeah, the uh, first thing, you know, I, I want to get on the sidelines because I'm pretty tired, but, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> after that, you know, guys are all up money and stuff like that. It's a, it's a pretty cool moment. It's surreal, but, uh, you know, I, I was really just glad that we got that win, man. I was, I was really just glad we did that. Obviously, you know what that was all about. What, what's it mean to you? Yeah, it's a pretty big game. You know, I've only been in it one year. The last year was a real fun game. It's pretty ironic. I got a game win a second. That one too, I think. But, uh, that is pretty crazy. I'm just not thinking about that. Um, but yeah, you know, big game. Uh, OU is a big rival, and you know, I can't wait to go out there and play. Does it? I don't know. Make it any less or anything that they're struggling like they are? Uh, nah. We, you know, we look at them as you know as a great team. We look at them at uh, they have great personnel. You know, you know, we're gonna go gonna go down there and do our thing. Uh, guts. I mean, he, I know he's going through a lot of pain just to go out there and uh, go out there for the team and just be selfless and just to go out there and just get the job done. Did, did it did it really kind of infuse you guys even oh, more? Oh, yeah. We're like, if he's going to come out here, I mean, we got we to gotta step up our game a little bit more if he's going to put himself out there with the injury. What about the way you guys defended their passing game? They obviously, Hutchinson is fantastic. And I think he had over 100 yards, but he never really hit you yeah. guys hard. What was the... What was the uh, I mean, what was the magic there? I mean, uh, we were just uh, leading up to this week. We knew that and, um, uh, he was a game game changer. So we just tried to uh, keep the ball out of his hands as much as we can. I mean, uh, we knew that he was going to make some plays. And we just tried to, uh, when he gets the ball, just get him down because he's a really, uh, he's an NFL wide receiver. So well, we just, uh, approaching this game, we just told our corners just to hog down on him. And if he's going to make some plays and you're going to make some plays, and just keep a little hit. Jabbar obviously playing out there at corner the whole time. I mean, it meant probably some more on your shoulders not mm -hmm. having him at safety much. How, how did that affect you? Uh, I, f I think I feel better with him at uh, corner just to have him on that, just to have him on number eight. Just to, uh, it's a kind of calming with Jabbar out there because he's kind of one of the, he's one of those guys. Yeah. Did you guys maybe get some pride back on, on defense with the way you guys played today? Uh, yeah, uh, Coach Emmer was just saying somebody needs to make a big play. I mean, we haven't had a big play in three weeks, so just to come out here in, in front of our fans just to make plays and just, I mean, that's all we needed just to get a win. Do you think a performance like this will help you guys the rest of the season? Oh, yeah, I feel like, I mean, we can celebrate it tonight and just be happy about it, but tomorrow we got to come in and work. I mean, we had a lot of bust today. I mean. We can be a lot, a whole lot better uh, uh, as a team, you know, offense and defense and special teams. I mean, they scored off a punt. I mean, they was on the five-yard line. So we just have to clean up everything just to be better for next week. I don't know how this is going to look because they're either going to buy it or they're, gonna, they're just going to run back, uh, run back, play deep. Um, and as I'm rolling out, it's kind of like they kind of hesitated. It was like, is anybody going to take them? Or is any like, you going to take them? Am I going to take them? But then they both just came for it. And then Spencer just threw a beautiful ball over the top. And from there, it was just concentrate, <laughs> look the ball in, catch it. So it was a big time play. On, on your end, I guess, real quick, I mean, it, what you mentioned, you know, concentrate, what's going through your mind when you see that and you are the only person there? Like, it's, it, you know, everyone's watching you to yeah, see sorry. if you can make that. It was, a, it was just like, oh, snap, like, like he, he's like he's about to throw the ball to me and like I turn around I see Spencer just like just mm. and I'm like and I'm just like okay 
like just catch it like it's, it's not a big moment or anything you know you just got to secure the catch and you know y'all go up a score or, or go up a few points and everything but it's just like just sit there concentrate look the ball in and everything like our coaches always say just look the ball in secure the catch before anything and then after that just celebrate have fun but beautiful ball by Spencer now you, you've done some special teams though stuff right yes yeah, so did it kind of feel like that because you're the only one person back there and you're just watching the ball come at you <laughs> it was I guess you could say that uh now that you I didn't think about that but now that you say that it's kind of is just like okay just back there it's like catching the ball on on a kickoff return or a punt return or something like that just you just got to secure the catch before anything else so how much do you think having Spencer in there helped with that play? Because obviously the defense knows that that's his forte. It's he, he can make some plays with exactly. his feet. Uh, thus, they, they seem like they bit because of that. Yeah, so um, like you said, um, they bit because, I mean, Spencer being in there makes a big difference. Nothing against Gunnar or Garrett. But just when you game plan, you have to also game plan for Spencer as well because he can run, he can throw, he can do it all. He's athletic. He, he's, he's a great football player. So just – just them seeing Spencer in there, it's like, okay, this is about to be run. They're trying to get the quarterback, a playmaker, to make a play and everything. And he ended up, he still made a play, just not how they were expecting it to. As a whole, how big was it having him get back in there at the end of the third quarter for you guys? Uh, it was great just having him back out there. Um, a lot of, I don't, I don't know if a lot of us expected this. I, I didn't, I don't, I know I didn't expect it, like for him just go out there and everything. But it was just great having him back out there and everything like that. Um, just for him to, you know, him being banged up and everything. We, we had a younger guy step up and they did a great job and um, they played their hearts out, played, did all they could and everything like that. And I'm proud of both of them, Garrett, Gunner, uh, doing all they can and playing great, like I said. Um, and I'm proud of Spencer just being coming back out there um, in a crucial moment, crucial time, and just playing. Uh, it's one thing I love about Spencer. No matter what what it is, what happened, he's gonna play his heart out. He's gonna fight for his team, no matter how bad he's hurting. So it was cool to see, you know, my roommate out there, you know, behind behind the center. I knew, I know that that was a moment that he's been looking forward forward to his, you know, just basically his whole life. And I thought he did a good job, just staying composed and calm. And um, he fought hard till the end. And um, I was happy I could make that play for him. And offensively, you guys uh, were, were one, I think, one for 14 on third down conversions. Uh, yeah. What would you kind of attribute that to? I'm not sure. I'd have to go look at the tape and stuff. But you know, I'm just proud of the way that we fought and we never gave up. And our defense, you know, helping us out all game long. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to go back and look and see what happened. Thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. Time. Yes, sir. John Paul, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Uh, Walk me through. What's the difference between? When you've got Gunner out there, I mean, yeah. you, shoot, we can look at all three quarterbacks. What, what are the main differences that you see when one's in and the other's not? That's a great question, to be honest with you. Um, I don't, I don't really know off the top of my head because you know, at, at the end of the day, I'm just out there yeah. running around. No matter who's back there throwing it to me, you know, if I got a ten yard out, I'm running a ten yard out, and you know, that's that's it. So, um, I think all three are all capable to mm -hmm. to compete at a high level. Um, you know, obviously Spencer has, you know, four or five years, whatever it is, of experience on him. So I think, you know, he's maybe a little bit more calm and collected as, you know, five years doing it would do to you. But um, <clears throat> the whole team has, you know, all the confidence in all three of them. And they practice hard. They work they work their tails off all week long. And um, I think we're fortunate to have, to have those three back there. I can almost guarantee you've already been asked about it. But touchdown reception, <laughs> yeah. what did you see there? And then... I was just walking through start yeah. to finish what, what, what happened there. Uh, it was a play that uh, we worked on throughout the week. It was a shot, and Coach Dunn, like I said earlier, he always talks about, you know, when it, whenever it's your play, and that one just, you know, kind of happens to be my play, that, that shot, you got to capitalize and, and make the play for the team because you know, we don't get many, many shots in a game, you know, so you got to make them count. Um, so, yeah, I, I saw the play come in, and I got a little bit excited, I'm not going to lie. And then um, I ran the wheel. Was digging, raked him off, raked his hands off, and then looked up, and the ball was absolutely perfect. It literally, he couldn't have dropped it in a better spot. And I just ran as fast as I could to the end zone. Did you did you have to look up at the board to see the guy behind you, or did you know he was there? <laughs> no, I, I felt him there. I heard him. He was breathing and all that. Um, but yeah, once he jumped, I, I kind of looked up to the board and saw there was nobody, so I was good. So yeah. You've probably been asked, but how did the mojo change in Spencer? Um, I don't know. I, I think this, you know, the team kind of corrals around him. He, I mean, he's no doubt the leader of our entire team. He's a veteran. He's a guy that we trust. And um, so to have him back out there and do his thing and just dink and dunk, and it, it was good to see. It was, it was honestly pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.